Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for the month of November 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. Ma, Cancer fam. Let's see what we've got for you. Yellow, willpower, um, action. Cancer, you are a cardinal sign. Um, so take action orientation, taking action is not something that you shy away from. Um, there is going to be some action taken here in the month of November for you, Cancer. I'm hearing it's in a direction that serves your highest good, that serves your goals. Lifetime commitment is what I'm hearing. Some of you may be connecting with someone that um, could share a desire for lifetime commitment with you. That sure would be nice. <laughs> All right, Cancer, but I'm seeing yellow. Um, direct and decisive action is what I'm hearing. And um, to me, I'm feeling an energy of just taking the lead and doing what it is you love to do. All right. Cancer is ready to go, so. Oops. All right, Cancer. Overall energy, you. We're starting you with the Five of Swords, so there's some conflict, huh? Shit starter energy. This, uh, I'm feeling like this is external influences. People getting up all, getting all up in your business, like they know what's best for you and you having to fight them off. Um, also though, there just could be, you could be the person that's, that's creating the drama here. One-upmanship is what I'm hearing. Pettiness also. Five of Swords, oh, but then you've got the Empress. You've got the world, and you've also got the Four of Cups. All right, so, I feel like there is an energy of, with the world here, there is an energy of um, whatever this pettiness with the five of swords here, That's that situation is coming to an end. Um, 
And some of you might be feeling like all is lost, like you'll never find love again, like you'll never reconnect, blah, 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 whatever, or just like your chances at something are completely done. But with the Empress here, the Empress is saying, no, actually the universe and the world are much more abundant than you think. You don't have to give in to energies feeling like, you know, you've lost your chance or you've missed your shot. There will be other experiences. There will be other chances, okay? With the Four of Cups underneath the deck, I feel like there's an offer that's trying to come into you here, but you're not, I'm hearing unrequited love, but you're really also not in the mood to take it right now. I'm hearing a reconciliation. There's potentially some sort of reconnection that's trying to happen here, but you're not, you're not really willing to take it. Because you're, what I'm getting here, especially with the Five of Swords, you're done with the pettiness. Done. Either you or someone else is just done with the pettiness. Okay? The first set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month, we've got... Woo! Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, the sun is in Scorpio right now. It's going to be in Scorpio until around the end of November. So Scorpio season could really be changing a lot of things for you. Also, the Empress talks about, uh, is a symbol of Venus. So Venus in retrograde really could be, between Venus in retrograde and Scorpio season, there is a big change happening here. There is a major cycle that's coming to an end. And it's, like, and it's a cycle that seems to be rooted in pettiness with the Five of Swords, all right? Death is coupled with, aha, the Three of Swords. The situation is over. There's a transformation that's happening um, due to heartbreak, deceit, deception, lies, pettiness, okay? And this Three of Swords energy, however this resonates for you, um, has really catalyzed this transformation in someone, either you or someone else that you're connecting with, Cancer. It also could be the end of... Now, the, situ the situation is over can go one of two ways. Either the relationship is over or the, the, the whatever energy that was creating this heartbreak is done, is changing, is transforming, okay? But the big thing I'm getting here is transformation due to Three of Swords energy. The second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your month, we've got the King of Cups. So you could be, again, this is another depiction of Scorpio energy, okay? Um, but this also could be you. Now, Cancer, you may have found a new love with the King of Cups here. The King of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the Nine of Swords, but things are, there's anxiety. So for some of you that have connected with a new love, I'm getting that there's anxiety here surrounding the past because you're coming, someone is coming out of a, a, a situation, potentially a relationship in which someone's heart was broken. Someone felt backstabbed or betrayed. And so now if you are connecting with someone new, because the King of Cups is very much an individual that is in love with someone or has very deep feelings for someone, what I'm getting here is there's fear and anxiety around it with the Nine of Swords because of what's happened in the past. So that really could be why you have this Four of Cups energy underneath the deck. Someone might be coming in to try and offer you something um, or you might be wanting to offer something to someone else, okay? The King of Cups could also be someone else being in love with you taking notice of you because I'm seeing the King of Cups, especially how he's positioned here, I'm seeing this person wants to take action, but there's anxiety around it, okay? The challenge for the first half of the month, you've got the Nine of Cups. And I'm really feeling like this is allowing your wish fulfillment to come in, to come in despite what may have happened in the past. The Nine of Cups is coupled with Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. 
So someone you're connecting with really could have a desire for a stable commitment or you could have the desire for a stable commitment. You, Your wish fulfillment could be in the form of offering a, a commitment to someone who is like a counterpart or you accepting an offer for someone, from someone, excuse me. Um, and what's, what would block be, what would be blocking this offer would be the past, the heartbreak, the three of swords and the nine of swords. Okay. Your potential outcome for the first half of the month you've got judgment. This could be a reconciliation, but this also could be a, re uh, a resurrection. You might want to check out the Gemini video because judgment did come out there and so did the five of swords. Judgment is right as uh is uh coupled with the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um so a rebirth, renewal, and you got the two wish fulfillment cards. So you really might want to check the Gemini video. Okay. There's a rebirth, a fresh start, um, but whatever is over. Because something is definitely over, especially with the, the world and transformation or death. Something is definitely over. And something that I was saying in the Gemini video was um, just because something is ending with someone, it actually could be leading towards greater fulfillment. And in that, uh, the Gemini reading, I the, what I was picking up was that there was someone there and it was mostly the Gemini energy that was about the current moment and just, I guess, kind of just having fun. Whereas there was another energy that was about long-term commitment, working towards steady goals, that kind of thing. And here, okay, so this could be you, Cancer. You could be the one that is wanting this commitment here with the Queen of Pentacles. And the counterpart is correct because in the Gemini video, in the Gemini video, the King of Pentacles came out, okay? So maybe this Gemini is your counterpart, or maybe you are leaving a Gemini, ending a relationship with a Gemini in, in favor of finding someone that's going to match you in your commitment sector, okay? The second, uh, I'm sorry, the second half of the month, first set of current energy, of surrounding energies, excuse me, we have the Six of Pentacles, balance between give and take. And I really feel like this is going to be your focus, gem, uh, uh, Cancer, or it could be the, uh, uh, the, the focus of someone else. But this is mostly your energy that I'm getting here. There needs to be a balance of give and take, and that's something you're really desiring, really focusing on. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Wands, feeling battered and bruised. So you have the Nine of Swords and you have the Nine of Wands now. So I don't feel like you're giving up. You're not giving up. You're still moving forward, but you're very guarded, okay? Um, and you're really looking for that situation that will give you that balance of give and take. Meeting, uh, meeting someone eye to eye, um, being on the same page with someone, being on the same level with someone, like sharing similar, if not the same goals. Because I feel like part of this pettiness or this, this, this conflict, the shit starter energy with the five of swords here is because two people aren't seeing eye to eye. Two people are not necessarily, <laughs> two people are not necessarily on the same page. And the reason why I'm laughing at that is because I have a friend, a very, very close friend who is a cancer, and that is a that is a phrase that's coming up between her and this person that she's dealing with. So the fact that that's coming forward right now, I, I just think it's funny. But anyway, um, someone is not giving up on getting what they want, the balance that they are looking for in a relationship, whether it's with the same person or whether it's, it's someone new, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there is something coming in, Cancer. Or this is you moving forward slowly but surely, piece by piece, towards your goals, towards what it is you truly want. The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Swords. Okay. Um, so someone may not be moving as quickly as you want them to. Um, or the situation may not be moving as quickly as you want that want it to, but the four of swords here is just reaffirming the, the, the need for a slow and steady wins the, the race mentality here. Okay. With the knight of pentacles. 
You might need to take a little bit of a break before you can make some sort of solid or substantial offer to someone, Cancer, or someone else could be adopting this energy. Because there, either way, there's some sort of offer coming forward with this Knight of Pentacles, all right? The challenge for the second half of your month, you've got the Page of Pentacles. So the challenge is working your way towards that offer or the challenge could be an offer comes in but it's not exactly what you expect it's not the big grand gesture that you might have been expecting or might have been wanting and so your challenge here is to take that for what it is and roll with it not uh, the page of pentacles is coupled with woo yep you see the devil okay so someone may be coming in with a small offer and now the ego gets in the way and is like well no that's not enough for me you could be dealing with a capricorn Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, cool. So I want to explain something. Um, and I explained this in the Capricorn video. And I was like, I wonder if I'm going to be able to explain this in the Cancer video. And here it is. So here's the opportunity. This is so cool, you guys. Okay, so there's a friend of mine um, that I recently reconnected with. And I spent a good amount of time with him one day. And I was just, you know observing him, taking in his energy, and I was feeling a heavy Capricorn influence from him. And I was like, wow, that's so weird. I wonder if he's a Capricorn. And then I, you know, we connected and I found his birthday. And so I looked into it. And in Eastern astrology, he is a Cancer. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And then I looked it up and sure enough, lo and behold, Capricorn is the opposite of Cancer in the Zodiac. So when I, while I was doing the Capricorn reading, there was a lot of cancer energy coming through and I, I and, and the chariot came out, which is the official cancer card. So I, I explained in that video that I, I told, basically told the same story. And so some of you within the cancer situation might be adopting your Capricorn energy, which is the opposite of your sign. You really might be adopting Capricorn energy here. And this is... That depiction, there's Capricorn right there with the devil. So you really could be um, adopting your Capricorn energy. And in that sense, what I'm getting here is the Capricorn may not feel like this offer that's coming through is quite enough. The Capricorn energy may be looking at the situation and seeing this, whoever is approaching them as a page of pentacles. But I don't think that's really true. I think they're more than just a page, but... And in the Capricorn video, you know, the energies of the Capricorn were very much work-oriented. So there might be an, uh, 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 there might be an energy of, oh, well, I'm not sure this person is up to par, is up to snuff, is good enough for me. Well, that could be devil energy <laughs> right there. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Okay. The potential outcome for the end of the month, for the second half of the month, you've got, okay, the Queen of Swords, discernment. And this is really falling in line with this devil energy with the Page of Pentacles. Someone is just being really discerning. Someone is like, look, I'm not about the drama. I'm not about the pettiness. I'm really detached. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my work right now. So, excuse me. So don't come at me with any mess, okay? The Queen of Swords is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. So why is someone adopting? Why are you Cancer or someone else that you're associating with? Why are you adopting this Queen of Swords energy? It could be an air sign too. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But um, why is someone adopting this Queen of Swords energy? Because they're working, on, they're focused on work. So this really could be a, ca a, a, a Cancer that is very much in their Capricorn energy right now. Okay. Very much could be an entrepreneur because the Three of Pentacles is entrepreneurship energy. Um, it's teamwork. It's self-mastery also. So someone really could be taking a break right now with the Four of Swords here. And because of that, you know, they're being very discerning. Not probably, yeah. See, and I was just about, as I was picking this up, I was going to say not really accepting any offers right now. And here you go, Four of Cups. Does that mean they're never going to accept the offer? No, of course not. But right now... They're not taking, they're not taking any new orders, <laughs> I guess you could say, all right? Okay, so let's get into the Oracle Guidance for the second half of your month here. Well, not the second half of your month, for your month. There we go. 
for Cancer. November 2018. All right. Let's see what you've got here for you, Cancer. Okay. Underneath the deck. Oh, wow. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. And that definitely uh, resonates with the final outcome for the second half, or I'm sorry, the potential outcome for the second half of the month in Three of Pentacles, because the Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. So also what I'm getting here now in, in relation to that. Someone could be could be looking at us, uh, at another person or a situation objectively and be like, "Can we work together? Can we build this together? If we can build together, I'm down. I'm with it. But if we're not gonna, if if we're not like, if we're not on the same page, if we're not seeing eye to eye, if we don't have at least similar goals, if not the same goals, then this just isn't it, this just isn't gonna work for me." And it's not even about the drama. It's not even about the emotion. It's just like this literally is just not going to work for me. Sorry, but not sorry. And especially if you are interested or if you're looking long term, like if you're looking for a relationship that's really long term, that could really be long term, then that would be this, that would be symbolized by this right here. Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Entrepreneurialship, I heard again, but... This is someone looking for a partner, potentially, all right? So the card that came out here is passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Allow yourself to be passionate. You don't have to be so detached, so discerning, but allow yourself to be passionate. Follow your passions. And if you're connecting with someone and things are pretty passionate, go with it. Yet be discerning. Just not too discerning. <laughs> I know. That's, what does, that doesn't even make sense. I know. But I, at some level or on some level, I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And Cancer, look, I'm, I'm going to be straight. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you. The cards right now are saying, especially in the beginning of the month here, this transformation that you're going through um, Scorpio season really could be illuminating the ways that you might be getting heartbroken with the Three of Swords here. But you have, either you are feeling love or a very deep connection with someone with the King of Cups or someone here really feels a deep connection with you or very feels like they're very much in love with you. And it's this really could be a new person in your life that could really bring you the commitment and the wish fulfillment that you're looking for. Especially with the potential outcome for the first half of the month being judgment and the star. Judgment being resurrection, the star being healing, and wish fulfillment. And this really could be on a much deeper level than what you may be coming out of in the past, okay? I really feel like this is divinely guided. This is divinely orchestrated. This could very well be a soulmate situation Um that really could be long term, okay? But you do have quite a bit of endings here because you have the world, you have death, which is a transformation, and you have three nines, the nine of wands, the nine of swords, the nine of cups. So you've got an ending of a cycle here, for sure. Confirmed by the world which is crowning your reading all right cancer so there it is thank you so much for tuning in much love to you all i look forward to connecting with you again for the month of december and i want to wish all of us here in the united states a very happy thanksgiving yeah take care Mwah! bye